yeah. Hello, Blue Blaster, Cybernator for the Super Nintendo. At the start of the game, you will have two forms of offensive weapons to unleash on the various enemies that you're going to encounter. These come in the form of your trusty Vulcan automatic gun that can take out the toughest of opponents without getting too close. Remember to use the hold button to stop the gun swaying all over the place and keep it pointed in one direction. The second is your trusty fist. Although most people tend to disregard the punch, it is an extremely effective weapon. If you manage to power up your punch, you'll find that one swing is more than enough to take out most enemies. Killing the first guardian is simply a race against time. When you encounter him, he'll be slowly climbing up to the top of the screen. What you must do is to blow him to bits before he gets to the top. Foul, and your mission will end here. The starter level two sees a slight change in gameplay. Instead of just walking and jumping around the level, you find yourself hurtling through space to your next major opponent. If your fists are powered up, then holster your gun and smash any enemies to smithereens. But, if this is still relatively weak, then use the Vulcan and the hold technique. When you arrive at the Guardian, swap to the missiles and use the hold button to unleash all of them onto the boss. When they run out, select the Vulcan and finish him off. In the second part of level 3, you're going to have to take to foot in a rather cramped corridor. Your adversaries will simply be minute soldiers armed with guns. Although these little fellas won't do much damage on their own, the damage will soon mount up, so you're going to need to use your shields to protect yourself, then squash them with your mighty fists. Next up is a rather annoying mid-level guardian. Upon entering a circular cavern, two ships will revolve around you, occasionally firing. You should already have punch selected, so choose one of the two guardians and start swinging. Keep on bashing one of the guardians and it will eventually die, allowing you to progress to the next level. Alright everyone, that's all you're going to get out of me for Cybernator tonight. Keep shooting and a blasting and I'm sure you're going to take down those metal monsters within days. Till next we meet, catch you later! Getting up with me last time, you see. Now, I've managed to do the Ghost Valley time as well. I've got one minute, seven seconds, and here's how I've done it. I use Bowser because he's got the best speed. He's not got the best traction on the roads, but once he gets going, and as long as you get a zoom start, you're well away. When you've got the 90 degree corners coming up, start power sliding quite early. This should make sure you get round them. Otherwise, you're going to end up and you're just going to either spin off or crash. Right, forget anything about letting up on the gas. Because if you slow down, you're just going to lose your time. Times are made and lost on the last corner of this track. It's sort of like a big U bend. Now, if you power slide just as you're coming up to it, you ought to be able to get it right up against the wall. This could knock seconds off your time. Now, if you get a good time, you'll get a ghost. Now, he gets on my nerves, so I usually get rid of him. Look at that. What can I say? There you have it. I think it could be beaten, but it's going to take a lot of practice to do it. Games Mistress, is there anything hidden on the Total Zone of Super Mario Land 2? Yes. There's so much that your little eyes will be the twins from the Mega Drive. Johnny Dormio, he's so brave, he could be called stupid. Who said that? Be the phalanx. You really should consult a doctor. Over and out. Oh, sorry. Wrong room. Thanks for that. Thanks. Yeah, Thank you. Can I select which level to play on Gynog on the Mega Drive? Um, right. Yeah. 
I do believe you can. Tonight's masterclass will be on that spectacular beat em up featuring the Cape Crusader, Batman Returns. Combating the villains that constantly throw themselves at you is a bit of a chore, but fortunately Batman is quite tough and has some nifty combination moves to use against them. The best technique is to avoid walking directly towards your opponent, as this gives them the chance to draw first blood. Instead, approach them from directly above or below and grab them by the neck. From this position, there's several combo moves you can use. The first is to simply press the button and throw your opponent to the ground, causing him a small amount of damage and knocking down any other enemies close by. The second technique is to grab another enemy and smash their heads together in a double head smash. This will do loads of damage to both of the unfortunate victims. The last and most deadly method is to simply headbutt your enemy twice while you still have a grip on him and then kick him away. It should now only take one or two hits to dispose of the nuisance. As well as your martial arts, punches and kicks, Batman also has some experimental test tubes that when thrown to the ground blow up causing damage to all of the baddies on the screen, usually enough to finish off some of the weaker villains. However, one mistake a lot of people make is to save up these test tubes and then die without using them. If your energy is low, don't think twice about unleashing a test tube. They're no use to you when you're dead. Just in case you didn't already have enough to throw at your opponents, Batman also comes equipped with his trusty Batarang and rope. Although you can get by without these, they can get you out of some sticky situations. The Batarang will stun most opponents, allowing you to walk up to them and then give them a quick kicking before they can recover. The rope, on the other hand, will enable you to swing across the screen, planting your foot firmly in the faces of any villains unfortunate enough to be in the way. Some levels will be impossible without the aid of your rope. Scene 2 offers several challenges, but the hardest are the burning building and the end of level boss. In the building you will need to make use of your rope to avoid the fiery floors. Fire the rope so that it attaches to the ceiling, then swing across and fire it into the ceiling again to stop yourself from falling into the fire. The next problem comes in the form of a rather muscle-bound guardian. Fortunately, he's not too clever. The easiest way to get rid of this boss is to use the same technique as for one of the minor baddies. Approach him from either above or below, grab him and then lay the boot in. It'll take a while, but you'll finish him up in the end. If you thought the previous guardians in the game were tough, wait until you get a load of Catwoman. Her main attacks are a nasty looking whip and a special speed kick that inflicts enormous amounts of damage on you and is impossible to guard against. What you need to do is keep out of her path until she does a cartwheel. This will indicate that she is about to do her speed kick, so get ready to jump and avoid it. As soon as you land, grab hold of her and give her a good kicking before getting ready to repeat this procedure. Don't bother with test tubes unless her energy is really low as they inflict very little damage against Catwoman. That's enough tips on how to be the Dark Knight. Follow these and you shouldn't have any problems in saving Gotham. Right. right. Place three fans in a line just up and behind Terry. Put them here, here, and here. Now the real trick of this level is to place a block for Terry to bounce off right here. Then put a jack-in-the-box there and a trampoline over here and you should be ready to send Terry the Tomato flying. So let's see. He's off. Yep, he's safe and sound. It's a charming little game, isn't it? Thanks. Cute. Get off my manor! <laughs> Next up, I'm going to come from Bista. I'm doing a follow-up for Sonic 2. And I can kill the evil self of Sonic in 14 seconds. At the start, do a super spin dash. When self Sonic's almost to the ground, jump, pressing the A button softly. Jump on self Sonic's head four times. Repeat this at the other end. Wipe out. There you are, 14 seconds. Best score yet. Hi, I'm Stephen Betts. I'm launching a new challenge for a Hall of Fame. I can collect 100 rings in 26 seconds on the Emerald Hill 1 on Sonic 2. 
Your sun spin dash start up to the speed boots and collect as many rings as possible. Go round the loop, jump over the gap and collect the three TVs. Go round the loops and into the secret passage. There's a hundred rings, got them. 26 seconds. Now you see me do it, just try beating that.